Hello again, and how nice to be with you today. I believe last week that Canon uh, Chris made an advent ring with you. Well, I hope I've made a similar one as well, because we need to light the advent candles, don't we? Last week, I believe he lit the first one, which reminds us of hope. The hope we have when that Jesus comes, the hope we have when Jesus is with us. But today, I'm going to light the second one, which is the candle that reminds us of peace. Ooh. There we are. It reminds us of the peace that Jesus brings to us when we are followers of Jesus and how Jesus wants us to be. But also, before Jesus came, hundreds of years before Jesus came um, into the world, and when he was born as a baby, prophets said something was going to happen. Now, a prophet was somebody who told the future. Sometimes they were telling things about warnings, like, if you behave like this, this is going to happen. If you don't do as God has told us to do, then something bad could happen. And in those days, hundreds of years before Jesus was born, everybody thought that God was a really powerful God who gets, got angry and he was sort of up in the clouds and looked down on people and he said, you're doing wrong and you're doing wrong and I'm going to send this on you and this is going to happen. So the prophets were the people who warned other people that they ought to be behaving. Some people listened to the prophets and some people didn't listen to the prophets. But one particular prophet, who most probably above everybody else, spoke more about the coming of somebody special who was going to bring peace into the world. And who was kept saying that someone special is going to come. He's going to be sent by God. He's going to be a real leader to us and he's going to bring good news into the world. Well, he also said that there would be a messenger that would come before this very important person came. And he would come in shouting, prepare the way of the Lord. Getting people to get ready for when Jesus was coming. A bit like we do in Advent. We're getting ready to have Jesus back into our lives again. Well, he's always in our lives. But remembering him as coming in as the baby. And we prepare by lighting our Advent calendar candles, opening our advent calendars and preparing ourselves to have Jesus, celebrate Jesus as the baby in the manger again. Well, this particular prophet, he was called Isaiah. And he said, before the Messiah, that's who Jesus was, comes, there will be somebody else who will come shouting, prepare the way of the Lord, make sure everybody's behaving properly. And he was a very important prophet. And I thought today that I might like to tell you a little bit about him, the prophet Isaiah. So I'm going to read you a story from my children's Bible again. The young Isaiah, if you think he lived hundreds of years before Jesus, was a nobleman, so he was quite important, who worried about what was going to be happening next because the people weren't well behaved. One day when he was in the temple thinking and praying about the future of his country because the people were not behaving very well, he had a wonderful vision from God describing things that were going to happen. And Isaiah said, I saw God sitting on his throne high above all. And of course, everybody thought then that God did live up in the clouds. His royal robe filled the temple. Creatures of flame stood around him, shielding their faces with their wings from the brightness of God's glory. They kept calling to each other, holy, holy, holy. The Lord Almighty is holy. His glory fills the whole world. We still sing those words quite often, don't we, in our hymns. As the sound of their voices went all the way round and vibrated round the temple, 
the whole building seemed to shiver and shake. Billowing smoke filled the whole place. Isaiah said, I was terrified. God was so great and so good and I felt very small, knowing that sometimes I did the wrong things as well. And I cried out amongst all this smoke and all this fire. What will become of me? I've seen God, the Holy One. And I know that I've done an awful lot of things that are wrong. And our land, our nation does an awful lot of things that are wrong. Then one of the fiery creatures flew towards me, said Isaiah. And he picked up a live coal with tongs from the altar. And he touched my lips with it. Oh, imagine that. But he said to uh, Isaiah, you are forgiven. All your wrong things that you've done and that you've said have been taken away. Then something Isaiah said very strange happened. Then God spoke and God said, who can I send? Who will be my messenger and take the news to the people and tell them how they've been going wrong and what will happen? And suddenly I found myself, said Isaiah, answering. And I said, I'll go, send me. And then Isaiah said that God gave him this message. But he warned him, he warned him that people would be hard hearted, that they wouldn't listen. And they would not tell God that they were sorry for the things that they had done wrong. And it was going to be a really, really hard job. But Isaiah said, OK, I'll do it. I'm going to be one of God's prophets. And that's what Isaiah did. He spent all his life going around telling people that they needed to be better people, that they needed to listen to uh, what God was telling them and what he knew was right, that they needed to get ready because somebody was special. It took a long, long time before the somebody special came and that somebody special was Jesus. But that prophet Isaiah said, if we behave. This person will come and he will bring peace into the world. And so the people were hoping that peace would come. There'd be no more battles, no more arguments, no more nasty things happening and that Jesus would bring peace. And of course, we know because we live after Jesus came, we know that Jesus came into the world with that special message from God about how we should all love each other. And if we loved each other, and we all got on with each other, and we were all nice to each other, we would live in peace. So as I think of our candle, as we all think of our candle of peace, we must think about that message that Isaiah first got from God. He called him to be his messenger. And the message that he said to the people, when he met people and when he went around teaching people was prepare, prepare yourself, get yourself ready for the special person. And we know that special person, as I said, was Jesus, is coming. And during this Advent, we have to try hard to prepare ourselves to try and be as good and kind and caring and loving as we possibly can be. It's hard, but we have to keep trying. And we know that when we do, that we will be sharing God's love and God's peace in everything that we do. Well, I'm looking forward to lighting the other two candles and then the special one that will go in the middle later in the month. Bye. It's been nice being with you. See you soon.